So just uh, market open first rate, so we'll do the uh, indices and go into stocks. So 25,000, uh, 394, 395 is where the Nifty is starting, which is uh, almost unchanged. Sensex is, I mean, actually, you know, blinking uh, uh, fifth between green and red. So 83,000, 82,998, so that kind of a open. Uh, we've got nothing on the Nifty Bank as well, 45 points, so 0.09%, 52,200 on the Nifty Bank. So very, very quiet. We've got uh, the IT index, which is coming up with about a quarter percent uh, cut. So 43,254 is where we are at. Market breadth is positive. Uh, so almost some threes to one in favor of advances, but you know, it's kind of early. Uh, the heat map on the Nifty in terms of the number of stocks which are opening up and uh, opening down, it's actually uh, almost evenly balanced. So I think about 20 names should be down uh, and uh, maybe a little bit more earlier. Uh, and about 30 of them are opening in the green. So that's the Nifty heat map. It's a two-point grand change on the Nifty within the first minute of market open. So okay, good. well, let's look at some stocks which are active. Look at Bajaj Housing Finance on the go once again. There's a 9% pop on that stock. Uh, if I remember correctly, it's Philip Capital. They've issued a positive note, and their target price is northwards of 200 on that stock. Uh, and it's inching towards that mark, 9%. That's a big move on Bajaj Housing. Ola Electric, the stock we were just discussing, up about 4%, and uh, the uh, gas companies, city gas companies, IGL and MGL, reacting really well to uh, some of the brokerage notes that have come in, which are quite favorable. Anyway, on the Nifty, it's very quiet, just about uh, seven points lower now. Uh, it's a flip-flop on the FMCG space, one day up, one day down. Today's one day up. Tata Consumer, Britannia, Lever, these are some of the stocks on the upside. There's a little bit of buying on uh, some of the other heavyweights, uh, like, uh, like an Axis Bank. ICICI Bank and HDFC Bank are sitting on the fence. There's no clear move as yet on the banking pack. The Nifty Bank is also fairly flat at this point in time. Hindalco is managing some green. But let's uh, look at the red side of the screen as well. Profit taking on Tata Motors continues. Uh, two, two and a half percent down on that stock. Wipro, Maruti, these are other names on the way down. SBI and TCS are two heavyweights. Accountant and Infosys as well. So some of the IT big boys starting lower along with the State Bank of India. Basically, it's a net-net neutral on the Nifty with the downside bias, 15 points lower. Downside bias indeed, and you can see that uh, increasing number of stocks declining in the broader markets as well. When we started, we had about 300 stocks declining. Now that number's quickly doubled to around 1,000, tripled, uh, doubled to 600, and now as we speak, uh, you know, the advanced decline lines are split right down the middle, equal number of stocks advancing and declining. Bajaj Housing Finance has now hit that 10% temporary freeze, so we'll keep an eye out on that one uh, uh, as well. Interestingly, a lot on the street were hoping for some sort of valuation catch-up in other housing finance companies too. That hasn't happened. It looks like there is still some soft moves that we're seeing on names like PNB Housing Finance. LIC Housing Finance has entered FNO ban, so we'll keep an eye out on that one too. Global Spirits, uh, the street likes their uh, entering the luxury segment with a new craft whiskey. Craft whiskey made by India is something that has been a big mega trend and that's led to a big move in a lot of these uh, alcohol stocks in India itself, Radico, Khaitan, Piccadilly, Agro, etc. And as a result of which, Global Spirits being rewarded for the same. On the way down, we have a bunch of stocks which are actually lower. Uh, Tirupati Balaji Agro, another recent listing, uh, uh, has been down 5%. TBZ, all the local jewellery companies seeing some bit of profit taking. So TBZ is down 5%, a lower circuit after a big, big move this month itself, up 54% this month, including the 5% cut that we're seeing today. Godfrey Phillips seeing some bit of profit taking as well. Um, in the on the, on the way up, of course, you did point out the city gas distribution companies. They've extended their gains. IGL is up around 5.5% right now. MGL up around 4%. Gujarat Gas seeing some traction as well, though not strictly a city gas distribution company. First source is the other one. Opened with a gain, uh, holding with a gain, but still off high. So about 2% up move is what we're seeing on the partnership that they've announced with OpenAI, the contours of which we still do not know. A, that explains the movement Tata Motors. It is the weakest stock on the Nifty right now. There is a large block, 0.4% uh, equity moving around. And the sector of the morning, shouldn't actually say morning, but uh, you pointed this out, Manglam. So, Alcobev, it's not only Global. So Piccadilly itself is up 5%. Radico is still uh, continuing its move from yesterday, up about 1.5%. A little small tinge of green on United Spirits as well. So these are some stocks on the way up. But otherwise, Prashant, very quiet on the, on the market. Even the mid-cap index right now, Absolutely unchanged. Quiet in markets and uh, noise of the streets. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, it's uh, uh, so yeah, absolutely. It's not very much going on. 
at least at the index level. Maybe uh, a few other names and we'll bring in uh, our uh, guest. So uh, I'll start with what else is uh, happening. Actually, market breadth has moved to being almost exactly equal, one is to one, uh, with about five minutes of market open behind us now. Uh, Bajaj Housing is limit up 10%. Uh, yeah, 181 on Bajaj Housing Finance. Ola is close behind with a 4% pop, but large volumes in it. I think we IGL, MGL first, so all these we mentioned. Uh, we've got, uh, you know, Arti, uh, Sir Factons, 8.5%, 8.32 or so. That's a big move uh, on Arti coming through. Uh, and on backed by volumes as well. <clears throat> there is Ecos Mobility, which is showing up with a 2% gain. Kohinoor Foods is up 10%, 11%, 52 on Kohinoor Foods. Panacea Biotech is up about 5%. Uh, and uh, so it goes. I mean, essentially, uh, you know, a few of these names. India Shelter is up about 1%. Remember yesterday, PNB Housing, LIC Housing, India Shelter, all of these. And there was a very large block ha which happened yesterday at India on India Shelter as well. So all of them sold off very aggressively. Uh, they are down about 7-8%. Uh, and uh, we'll have them up as well. On the downside, there's Godfrey Phillips, which is down uh, 5%. <coughs> it's the second largest volume-led loser on the NSE. And of course, Edelweiss, which has had a, uh, you know, a one-way move, is pulling back about one, just 1%, nothing, 128, 129 on Edelweiss. TBZ, Tribhuvan Zaveri, which has had a, a rocket like a move, 4.5% lower. So these are just pullbacks. Loda is down about 2, 2 and a third of a percent. Uh, Tollens, which is basically the tire maker from uh, the listing from yesterday, that is down about 4%. It's had a pretty subdued flat listing yesterday. Uh, and uh, this is day two. Root Mobile, Triveni Turbine are some of the other names which are uh, coming up with some rates, but not very much really in terms of uh, price action. Quieter.